Anthony Ferraro and Mancina, two blind guys, collide to bring you Four Bad Eyes Podcast. Welcome back, Four Bad Eyes, Eyes and Ears. Here we go. How are Yay! You? We're back! Oh, stop it. You guys are too kind. The holidays are here, dude. Holidays cheer. They've come on in a big old fat red sled, dude. What? <laughs> I just saw the most epic holiday movie of all time, I think, dude. Can you turn off the air? What movie? <laughs> <laughs> Violent Night, dude. Violent heard- Night? What the hell have is you- that? Have you heard about this No. Movie? What is oh that? Oh, my God. Is this dude. new? This is new. No. Sounds scary. Like, it kind of, uh, it's a real close to uh, Die Hard, you know? It's that epic, dude. Die Hard? What was that? That was like that war movie, right? No. What the hell's Die Hard? Bruce, Will- Bruce Willis, dude. Bruce Willis. As a cop and he has to terrorists take over Nakazumi uh, Tower or something. He's saying, oh, that was the, never there's saw a couple it. of them. They're all epic. There's four of them, apparently. They're classic uh, Christmas Bruce Willis movies. We have a special but, guest. But this one, dude, Violet Knight, is Santa Claus is delivering presents to a house. That gets overtaken by people who are robbing the house. And then he has to just go haywire on people, dude. And he just starts taking <laughs> taking people out, dude. Santa? Dude, Santa does. It is epic. Wait, wait, dude. the house gets taken over? The house gets taken by over. By who? Like Grinches? No, it's like the super rich family, and there's like three hundred uh, million. It's always the rich there. family. Yeah, they like get three hundred million in the safe. There's and, always uh, in the safe. They're breaking in the safe, and there's a little girl who has a walkie-talkie who ends up talking to Santa. And Santa is what? Like, Santa's like he's like 1,100 years old, and he used to be a Viking. What? <laughs> so he's gotten this pass of of he he. <laughs> His, his best friend was Skull Crusher. He had this big old mallet. Skull so Crusher. He, so he goes he goes back to his old roots and just starts murking people, dude. Dude, as a Viking. It's as Santa. Santa, Santa Viking. But he used to be a Santa. You know, he's like 1,100 years old, you know? So he was a Viking and then he became Santa Claus or was he always Santa yes. Claus? Yes, he became Santa Claus. Wow. Where's he from? I don't know where Vikings are from. I don't know. The North Pole? Oh, well, now he is. Now he's Santa, dude. Ugh. But it's just, it's hilarious, dude. Just, it's like super cheesy American. It's an American classic now. Giving Mrs. Claus that Viking D. Oh, it's so good, dude. He freaking Wait. Cuts, pe- cuts people's throat with Shh. ice skates. Shut up! Stabs people in the eye with candy canes. Oh, my God. People in, uh, uh, Snow blowers and like chips them up. Like <laughs> it's like if Daredevil was Santa Claus using all like the blind dude. things. Like his cane's the weapon. He's got candy canes and shit. It is hilarious. Rudolph's dude. nose is a laser. His one, his like main line when he gets into like kill kill mode, he's like, "I'm gonna take these dudes out one by one like a plate of cookies and milk." <laughs> 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 it's like it's cheesy stuff. Oh like that, my right gosh. Now. Oh, it's fucking good, dude. I'm leaving Santa a salad this year. He needs to cut back. No way, dude. You're going to get cold then. <laughs> You're getting cold if you leave Santa a salad. I know. I've... Cookies and some some uh, carrots. Last year, I left him... The reindeer. Last year, I left him cookies and carrots, and he left the carrots. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> Must have... I got to leave something else for the uh, reindeer. Maybe they want... Yeah. Maybe some like uh, like some hay or something. Yeah, like a bundle of hay. You ever bale hay? I've done that. Ah, uh, no, but I've stacked bales of hay. Oof. You ever see the Dad, old Dad's barn? He used to buy like hundred, I don't know, two hundred hay, bay, 200? hay bales. Maybe three hundred to get through the winter for Holy the horses. Shit, I had to stack them all there. Yeah, cause your dad had horses. Yeah, he used to have like he used to board other people's horses for them, and then he they had like three or something like that. Wow, yeah, yeah, That's a lot of work. Yeah, dude, that Santa dude, he's getting reckless. 
It's hilarious, dude. It's so <laughs> I gotta watch this. It How was the audio? Was it good funny. audio? Well, I just had Heather next to me. And dude, this movie theater. Oh, you were in the movies. I went. Wait, you went the to the movies. theaters. Wait, yes. is it true that you have assigned seats now? Uh, this one was. So this one that. had. They called them. They called them pods. Personal pods. Oh two my. Pods. So we were real geeked up. You know what I mean. So what you're explaining these to so, me? So so we yeah well I haven't been to the movies and I dude last time I was with Calgan and this was like years ago. Um, I I saw a freaking uh what was it the the Zootopia maybe the one where it's like a musical I don't know um, oh like yeah years and years ago with Calgan you said yeah with Calgan okay and this was like this was in L A so the it was over a hundred dollars. What? It was like one hundred fifty dollars for tickets and like. Shut popcorn. the fuck up! It was insane dude. for three LA's, people. LA is crazy. No, that's that's messed so I'm like, up, dude. So these tickets were for the pods were twenty eight dollars for both of us, and then I got popcorn and a drink, and it was like seventeen bucks, like dirt cheap. So I'm like, okay, that was good. So I'm I'm, I'm already in a good mood. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna spend you know fifty seventy five dollars on this crap. But, uh, so we're geeking on the pods, but when we get in the theater, well, we were a little, I was a little nervous cause it's kind of in like this ghetto area. Like I live on the border of like where it gets a little sketch, gets more of like Pontiac. And, uh, so I was like, I don't know, this movie theater could be kind of bonk. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we showed up, but every seat was the recliner seat. Yeah. That's know, what they do now. It's like a, it's like a leather lazy boy mm-hmm. and it had the pods weren't pods. They were like divider walls like, on each side of you. Like first class seats? Bigger than a first class seat. Like but, like a straight up lazy boy you sit in. Mm-hmm. But the, the you know how, have you ever been on a first class seat where you lay down the pods? Uh, no. Okay, they mm-hmm. have like dividers in between the seats. So I'm yeah, imagining like, it's like it that. It was probably like, it was like head height, little divider thing. It's just like a little wall pretty much, you know what I mean? But only like head height. But... But the seats, dude. So yeah, they're they're all like electric, you know. So you little push the button, it's like, and you need to sit back. And then it had a little. No, it Heather didn't. said it was a, a a piece of fried bacon. Was you hit that button and it had the the seat warmers on there, dude. Stop it! Yeah. <laughs> so Stop I'm like, it! Oh, I'm locked in, dude. I'm Could hard. you lift your divider to be with Heather? No, we were together. Oh, two. okay, okay. Like two two person two person. Did you make sexy though. time? Nah, you're on the open. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to be up in the back. Yeah. But it was a nice theater, though, because like, every seat had that recliner seat. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm just chilling, dude. having popcorn. How much were, the, were these tickets? Cause they were 28 bucks for two. 28? They're, they're all the same price. I just looked up theater tickets. I had uh, We have a special guest, Tom, here. Hi, Tom. 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 Sorry. He just up, Tom? He, he just looked up. How much a theater ticket is in LA and it's twenty one fifty. For one ticket. For one ticket. Yeah. Mine this was for two tickets. Oh, so oh okay. Four, 14, oh, okay. 14 yeah, bucks. Okay, that's yeah. okay. fourteen bucks. I didn't I didn't do the descriptive audio. They have that? Most most places do. Yeah, most modern. Really? What they yeah, give you, you headphones? You gotta go to like a separate little concierge and ask for the descriptive video or whatever. I didn't do that, but I, so I just, I just had Heather right next to me. So she, anytime I asked, I would just ask her what just happened. And just, so she would just give me the, the breakdown. Um, but it was pretty good. It was pretty good action. Like there was a lot of just the cheesy lines are just hilarious to listen to. <laughs> and then Heather would be like, okay, now, now he's, he's just stabbing in the eyeball with the, with, with, with like an ornament and then he plugged it and then he plugged him in and he just, his head set on fire. <laughs> It's like it's, it's hilarious, dude. Oh man, this is in you know, it's, theaters. It's like, it's meant to be like a comedy, you know what I mean? Just I a can't. comedy, super dramatic, dude. Twist on Christmas. Oh, it was good. Dude. I didn't know they were still making movies for theaters. <laughs> yeah, after oh, the whole yeah. AMC fiasco. Yeah, dude, it was freaking. That's good, wild, dude. This was, dude. This was like a local, local. So good experience. Water, water. Real good. Experience. Would you go again? I would go see that movie again. 
<laughs> oh For my sure. god, we should go see. <laughs> we should. It is, we oh, should with, the, with the descriptive audio. Yes, 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 yeah. Dude, you gotta go check it out. It's hilarious. The, the descriptive audio sometimes gets too much. Yeah, you ever notice that? Same. I'm like, I don't know. Because they start to... talking over the lines, and that's what bothers me. Yeah. When they start was, interrupting. I wasn't in the mood for it tonight, so I, I just did. I had Heather, and she was giving me a breakdown. I listened to the Daredevil TV show with audio description for like two episodes, and it was just way too much action. A lot going they on. They can't keep up. Much. They can't keep yeah, up. That's the problem. Yeah. I was just stoked that it was not number one, not a serious movie. It wasn't a freaking Marvel. Freaking, I'm not a fan of any of that crap. Or like the a Marvel. sappy flick. Sappy. I hate Marvel yeah, movies. I like, I like. I just. I like cheesy movies. So I like rom coms. I do too. Like I don't like Marvel movies. There's too much action. I have no it's idea what's going just, yeah, on. Yeah, I have no... I give two it's Too much of that cheesy music. Year. The music yeah, gets me... Yeah. Not into it. But this was just a, a nice break from all that seriousness. And it was just ridiculous, over-the-top, American freaking classicness, dude. Dude, when you texted me, you are going to the movies. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, so good, dude. It was so Was good. it at a mall? Nah, it's in like a lot of big old parking lot. Dude, the it, was like a, uh, it was like a, a somewhat local one. It was like Waterford movie something. I don't oh, know. Waterford Crystals. Some shit like that. <laughs> the last time I was at a movie theater was like high school. And. Oh, I haven't been in a minute. Damn. Dude, high school. I want to say, I, I could be mistaken, but I, I'm almost 100% positive. And it was with, it was, so the movie theater's in the mall. And that was where I would go to sneak with my that girlfriend at the time whose parents didn't like me. Uh-huh. She'd have to go say she was meeting up with her friend at the mall. Oh, and then I would shit. go see a movie with her and we'd just make out the whole time. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have no idea what's going on in those movies. Like I, It's funny. When we pull up to the parking lot, we pulled in front of a car and there's two people making out in front of us. <laughs> and I was like, oh, there's people making it's out like right there. It's a thing, dude. It's a thing. But oh, yeah, no, kind of, I remember when they... The, dude, you gotta go to the movie. It's like seeing live music, you know? It, it, it's the experience, you the, know? The, what is it? The amp... No, Max... What is it? T, uh, IMAX. Those are the yeah, ones. IMAX, crazy, yeah. I, I went mean, to an yeah, IMAX. The sounds in there. The bass is insane. It's just like... It's how you're supposed to watch a movie, for sure. Yeah, dude. It really is. That's why people... When we were in Hawaii, there was a, um one of the Airbnbs had surround sound. Uh-huh. And that was epic, dude. Watching TV was a whole new experience. Yeah, dude. Especially yeah. being blind, I think those like, do those extra bumps from the bass and like the yeah, the dramatic yeah, yeah, yeah. music, like really creeping up, and you're like, oh shit, something's about to happen. Santa's about to fucking get someone with a candy cane. <laughs> we had he had a what did he call it? Skull Crusher. He, was, he he used to use a big old mallet, you know, like a swing. That mallet. was like a wrestler. Oh, it's so good, dude. It has the dude in it is from Hunger Games, I think. No, something really popular. Awful Some movie. new popular. Awful thing. movie. Okay, book. I didn't see, didn't read or see any yeah. of those. Yeah, I might be wrong on that. One of the modern, something like that. But dude, yeah, but the movies, dude. You gotta go to the movies. It was. Yeah, I, I forgot that it was. It was uh, enjoyable. Like it's that. a real it's American good. thing. Even in other countries, it's big going to movies with, with uh, it'll be in English and have the subtitles. Uh huh. It's crazy. And it's the, the popcorn, dude, the slushy. You got the I slushy? Get, I always get a slushy. Oh, it's good. What dude. kind? I did a cherry one. Oh. Normally, I just do like Coke or Pepsi, but I didn't want the caffeine right now. Coke. Speaking of so Coke, many. I'm glad you brought this up Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Uh, have you ran into their new machines? Like the ones where you can mix? Con- like nope, hunt- nope. Contactless. No. They've rolled out this new thing. I've ran into it in a few states, a few like corporations. In and out was one of them. Uh, like McDonald's. All those places have them. Like, mm-hmm. And there are these new machines that are contactless. So in order to get your drink, there's these sensors on the machine. And you have mm-hmm. to wave your finger in front of the sensors. So... It's unaccessible. Like you, you oh. for me and you to use it, it's impossible. You actually need help. So you, like, you know, how you used to be able to just like push on the thing and you'd be able to take a sip real quick and tell what it yeah. was like, that was my yeah. method. And like, if someone's yeah. there, you just ask what flavors, whatever. 
But this, you can't, you have to be able to see the sensors because you have to wave your finger in between them to get the certain drink you want. And mm. that pissed me off beyond belief. And like, how is it, how is it set up? Can you, can you still wave your finger and like, just like wave it really quick to get a splash? It, I'm not, I'm not sure. I you know what Kelly I mean? Here. Like, could, could you still yeah. test a couple flavors out? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask Kelly. Cause it's, it's like, I was unable to use this machine. Like I even tried waving my finger. I couldn't get it. Yeah. And to be able to feel where it was, it's just really confusing. And there's, I think like, I think you select the flavor, mm. but it's all, it's all touch screen or sensor, huh? Yeah. It's, it was, I never really get like that frustrated over shit like that. Can you explain the Coca-Cola machine? The visually? Like visually to Dan or visually yeah. to? Yeah. Like eyes how, and ears. Yeah. Eyes and ears. Okay. What are you eating? My mouth is full. <laughs> you eating cookies right now? There, my, I'm holding my two fingers up, like parallel. Like hold your two fingers up, your two pointer fingers up. Yep. So they're like, like next piece. to each other, but like an inch of space in between, maybe a little bit more space. In your between. two pointer so fingers. Put your yeah. finger between the yeah. sensors. Yeah. And so if you like keep like yeah. two inches between your two pointer fingers, that same way you were holding them, that's mm -hmm. like what it, it's like, and you have to like shake your finger right in between. That, like, the the two fingers. Like, so Anthony's going to hold up his two fingers, and then I have to wave yeah. my finger in between the two. How do you select the flavor? Literally, each flavor has its own little it's finger waver thing. Oh. So there's, like, hundreds of finger waver things oh. on the thing, so it would be almost Crazy. impossible to find which one you wanted. Thank it's you, like man. a whole grid of all those sensors, and you got to... Thank you, Kelly. All labeled. Yeah, so... It, it, so you know, like, not like, I'm not going to make a huge deal out of this, but it was frustrating, right? Isn't that frustrating when you can't navigate something? Yeah, very um, frustrating. So, and, and for a giant corporation like that, that should not oversee these things, like, it's that's an ADA issue, in my opinion, because mm -hmm. you leave out a whole group of people that can't use these now. Yeah, not just blind, but people who, you know, don't have freaking hands or whatever. Exactly. Too, you know I mean? No, seriously. Like, and, and don't have use of their and, limbs. And know? other motion, like disabilities, like, you know, motor skills and things like that. And it, um, I tweeted about this. I'm not a big tweeter, right? I don't even have a big. Dude, I don't even. Tweeting? I've been tweeting lately. I'm a little tweeter. You back on tweet, Elon's tweet. got control. You're back on. Yeah, pay my eight dollars a month for verified. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. But so I like tweet about, I have like, <laughs> I have like 800 Twitter followers <laughs> and I tweet about this. I'm just like the, you know, all I said was something like, does anyone know anyone in, at Coca-Cola that I could bring up an accessibility issue with because their new machines are not accessible mm -hmm. and it didn't become a big thing. Two days later I go on Twitter and Coca-Cola actually responded and mm -hmm. they, they said, um, Anthony, please DM us with the with your issues and like we would we would love to like figure this out. Yeah. DM them two days ago, no response. No response. So they're yet. just ghosting me now. And it's really frustrating. I want to get to the bottom of this because I would like to I don't want to be the face of it. I don't want any like I don't even want recognition for it. I just want the problem fixed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it just just rubbed me the wrong way. I hit them up on Insta, everything I could think I of. I haven't seen this uh, machine. I have to find one of these. Yeah, just in and, and pretty much all these like corporation places now, like uh, any of them, the chains you go to. With the in and out had it, huh? Yeah, in and out in Arizona. Interesting. And uh, it's really frustrating because I have this other toaster oven called a Breville, and it's mm -hmm. not accessible at all. Like, it has knobs, but... The knobs are so jank like janky that like if you turn it once, it could turn three times and you don't even know. Mm -hmm. And do you know how they get around it not being accessible? What? They put a <laughs> disclaimer. If you go online, they put a disclaimer that says people with disabilities should ask for assistance with this device. 
Yeah, I hate. I was gonna say that's the that's the biggest gonna, fuck you, dude. I was gonna bring that up with the machine. They're probably just gonna be like, "Oh, you just ask an ask an employee; they'll help you." It's like, no, that defeats the whole purpose of being oh, independent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same with the Instagram thing. Now that I'm dealing with, you haven't done the update, but and you can't. And you ask for an employee at McDonald's, the, the, every place is understaffed right now. It's understaffed. Like pull, you know what I mean? It's uh, like, in, I'm not waiting for someone to fill up my drink. It, it's it's just... I you, guess you could have them fill it when you get your drink, right? Because there is somebody who does it for drive through but... True. Yeah. But no, they just give you the cup. They just give you the cup, Even yeah. if you have the cane. Yeah. Frustrating. That's good. Not good, dude. Not good. And then... What would, what would be... Inaccessible. Because even the machines, old school ones are, they're not bad. You know, the ice is easier to find, you know, it's obvious to find. Because it's different shape. Compared to the drinks. And you just got to sip a little bit of each one, I guess. But they're not too bad. But I I have been to ones that have had Braille labels. Oh, really? I've been to a McDonald's when I was younger in Philly that had Braille labels. And it was the Mm -hmm. coolest thing. Now, I get that's not like. That's not really an end all be all because a lot of people don't know Braille. Well, that's good. No, I think that is, that's all you need. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? If you have the ability to read the Braille. Because most people have enough who are blind enough to read, you know, simple, to yes. Coca Cola to whatever else. Yeah. It, it's no different than trying to figure out like hotel bathroom, rooms, you know? Yeah, yeah bathroom, yeah. things like that. All that stuff. So I think, and it's just. It, It's literally like eight Braille labels. You know what I mean? It's not that many. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now they have all the new machines that have every fucking drink you could ever imagine. And those are the ones that are are all the all touch. All yes, and no no voiceover. You can do any mix you want. Yeah, I think it would be cool to be able to be like, okay, Coca Cola. You know, like how people do like okay Google, and Uh then be like, put your cup under the thing and be like Cherry Coke or something. You know what I mean? A nice big braille labeled button that says push, you know, voice. But yes. Voice command or something. Yes. It doesn't even have to have braille, just like a, a, a label, like a tactile thing. Mm-hmm. And a little sensor where you put your cup in that'll like give you a little ding. Exactly. Uh, the right yeah. place. <laughs> we need to talk to these companies. Yeah, dude. Frustrating. Jeez, man. dude. But yeah, man, that was my, uh, my epic night out, dude. That's Going the night movies. out. That's your big night out. It was funny. I was kind of cheesing, dude, on the way there. I'm like, I've been out to the movies in a while, dude. I was smiling, just going there. I, I when you texted me, I was laughing. I was out at my gig and I was like, he's going to the movies. <laughs> yeah, I had a night out too. I, uh, I actually it was it was cool. I, um, Tom's girlfriend, Whitney, she's an incredible singer, probably one of the best singers I've ever heard live. Like mm-hmm. she's so good, and. The past, like, eight months, I've been super depressed about music, kind of. Like, unmotivated, and it's been hard to get, like, any inspiration. Mm-hmm. It's been hard to pick up my guitar. It's it's just been, like, a struggle. And I've been so busy doing other things. So, like, last week, she started this open mic in it locally. So I went last Tuesday. I had a great time, played some songs, got, like, kind of re-inspired. Like, kind of mm-hmm. got that flame back. Like, oh, I, I love playing music. I love being in the scene, and... And just like, I love music. And she had asked me afterwards, like, I thought nothing of it. I was like, oh, I had a great time. And then a couple days later, I get a text saying, hey, Aunt, will you play lead for me at my gig next week? Mm-hmm. And no one's ever asked me to do that. So, like, it was just such an honor. And I was actually really nervous. Like, I even got a guitar lesson this morning to, like, refresh myself <laughs> over some stuff. And, yeah, that's what you were doing. Yeah, and uh, it went really well. Went to, it was at the Asbury Hotel. In As- ah, Asbury, Asbury Park, really nice, like swanky hotel. They got records all over the wall and stuff. And how gr- does each does each room have a record player? Uh, the, the lobby did. I didn't go in the. Like, the I've never been in the rooms. Room. Yeah, but the lobby had records on the wall that you could take off and put in the record player. Gotcha. So that was cool, and uh, and the the gig went well. There was a lot of people. We opened for this band. And there was a lot of people. They enjoyed it. It gave me that, like, real spark. I didn't have all that pressure because usually I'm the lead, like, mm-hmm. the lead of the band. Like, I have to sing. I have to uh, make sure everyone's in, like, sync. Like, make sure everyone's together. It's just, it's a headache, you know? 
And to be yeah. able to show up and just play lead over someone who's so talented. Tom played uh, the hand, he plays cajon and djembe like drums, and he also oh, had Tom a place too. Yeah, okay. he had a shaker egg in his sock, <laughs> and he was <laughs> using <laughs> that. Did you have two? Uh, he's like one of those little monkeys with the explain with your the setup symbols, to us. Symbols on the knees. I had a shaker egg in each sock because when I'm bouncing on my toes, keeping in keeping in a rhythm, my one leg gets tired. So I started doing the other leg. The other, uh, yeah. It was funny. We were practicing the other day. He's like, dude, I'm going to need two shakers. His one leg kept getting so tired. It was awesome. But I had a good time. Met met some cool people. Um, He's like one of those little monkeys you see playing, dude, with the symbols on the knees. Yeah, yeah, hands. yeah. Do the tamra. What are the what are the things that you like hit together? <laughs> symbols. Yeah, the symbols. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Oh man, it's a good time. Um that's oh sweet. something that's cool that happened. I got a text tonight from our friend, from Kelly and I's friend, and I'm going on January in January to play basketball with the Phoenix Suns. Ooh. Like like Gary Payton, you know who that is? Like very OG. I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, it just like these group of guys. It's gonna be sick, dude. I'm That'd so stoked. Like it's for charity and all this stuff. Um, you I'm really. Your, you better practice a little bit, dude, dude. I gotta get my game up. Get your jump shot down, dude. Yeah, I'm all. I'm no Jay. They call me Anthony, not Jay Anthony. That'd be sweet, dude. Work on your your uh, sky hook, dude. <laughs> My half court shot. J hook, yeah. sorry, J hook. J hook, <laughs> sky hook. Yes, dude. Yeah, I love a J hook, dude. Ball Dang, out. what is that? January? January, beginning of January. I'm stoked. For charity, he's gonna go, just like mess around, play. Shoot I think some... it's like three on. They do three on three, and then there's like shoot offs and all this stuff. I'm not sure. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be exciting. I got like a big. And then we have a box suite for like the game. Like there's a Phoenix Suns uh, game. Is it later. before the game? Kind yeah, of thing? yeah. It's before oh, the game. Nice. It's like all day, and then the games at night. Sick. Get me in on this, dude. Dude, you want to? Let's see if you can come. Let me see what's up. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. That'd be that, super that fun. That'd be fun. Um, dude, it'd be sick. I'm I'm really stoked about it. The Phoenix Suns. Yeah. I, you know, it's funny. I've been thinking lately, too. I'm like, I need to do a basketball video. <laughs> so All go. my basketball videos do really good, dude. Yeah. Everyone I've posted. <laughs> yeah. The well, last one I posted on YouTube did like 250K or something like that. To, wait, like, what? Like, like really good for me. Yeah. When? Just I just posted some random, just like swoosh, like a yeah. free throw swoosh. in like my backyard. A swoosh to do. It's nothing but net. <laughs> It, you got a new ball? <laughs> we did. I don't know. This old one is just flattened down. Now I got a new one. Yeah. Protecting great. it. Yeah. It's funny. Did you make it to the finals? No. I didn't know. Oh. No. That it's, was uh, cool, though. Who is it? Uh, did, did the guy Lopez. from Blind on, make it? The guy from Blind? I can't remember the two. Tyshawn, Nyjah, Louis Lopez. I can't remember the fourth one. There's only one more. Oh, wow. Ty Sean, of course. I went and voted. I already voted. Who'd you vote for? Louis Lopez. Ooh. Who does he ride for? I don't even know nowadays, dude. He used to be like, uh, what was he? I don't even know, dude. Don't even know. I'm out of the loop, dude. Yeah. I know he rides for like Volcom, but. I don't know who else. Oh, I want to say flip, but I think that's wrong. Yeah, flip. OG. Not sure. Throwback. He, he's been killing it for super long, and he like, you know, there's a, there's been a few years where he was like really close to getting it. So that's who I went for. That's cool. But yeah, I got in the um initial uh, what they call it running. Like a, yeah, initial running for. Skated here. That was really cool. Dude, that was awesome. I thought that was so cool. I, like, yeah, getting it cool. or not, it's an honor to cool be. Cool to see your name on that yeah. list. Yeah, it's wild. To be put up um, there with those freaking goats. I'm going to go for it next year, dude. I just want to put two parts out. Now I want to put two parts out, you know? In one year? In, 
in one year. Yeah, I have one in the beginning and then a really banger, banger one. You have one ready to go, right? <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. Do you need any more tricks for it? Uh, I could. Maybe one could banger. Get a couple. Yeah, I, I, I should use another good banger, but I'm, honestly, I don't really remember everything I have, but I have a good, some really good stuff for that. This would be a dope. This is the part I thought was going to come out at the end of this year that I was really hyped on. But <clears throat> let's wait until spring, I think. Maybe it's better that it's going to wait. Yeah, it's better, I think. Is it you with long hair? No, it's all new stuff. All new. Short hair, Dan. Yeah, because even your picture for Thrasher was long hair. Yeah, long, <laughs> long hair, Dan. Long hair, don't care. When's the last time you got a haircut? Scatter of the year, long hair. Um, last time I got a haircut? Yeah. I got one, uh, for my buddy's wedding. Oh, okay. So that was in, uh, October. Uh, October. You were growing it out for a minute. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it short for a long time. Definitely past my wedding. My wedding's next June. I'll have it short then, so. Buzz it? You should, you should let me cut it for your wedding. I get to cut your hair once we hit a million followers, subscribers on YouTube. Just go and subscribe. Go and subscribe for bad eyes. Cindy's hair, and Anthony's gonna give me a tattoo. Let me give you a face tap. Ice cream cone upside down on my face, <laughs> like Gucci Mane. No, I was gonna give you a milkshake. I just found out Gucci Mane is Gucci Mane, not Gucci Man. Gucci Mane. It's Gucci Mane. You didn't like know a, that? Like like a lion's mane. Yeah, I never knew that. It's like M A N E. It's the same thing as blind. I never I've never seen it. Written out, you know what I mean. I've only heard the name. Wait, blind? What? Being oh, blind. being I've, blind, I've, being I've blind. Never, okay, yeah. I've, I've never seen the name written out or really, or like right. Took the time to read it character yeah. by character. I just thought it was Gucci Man. Gucci Man. Did you think he just said Man? Because mm. obviously you're not listening to enough I Gucci just, Man. I just heard Man. That's when I. That's what I heard. I thought he just had some slang on it. I mean Gucci Man. Gucci man. <laughs> I listened. A, I listened. I had a little slang on it, but I listened to his autobiography. I love it way more that it's Gucci Mane. It's what it makes way more sense. You should listen to his autobiography. It's so you, good. I think you were telling me about that. Yeah, so it was super good. No, the the reader is amazing. Can't be as good as Violent Night, but <laughs> nothing. I really Violet need to Knight. see this. This needs to go on Netflix or something. <laughs> Go to the movies and see it. Ugh, I gotta go to Canada. It was, like, it was like the number two gross movie for the last few weeks behind uh, Black Panther. Oh, that's that's where we're at. <laughs> that's where we're at. That's the condition <laughs> movies are in. I heard a lot of comedians talking about how, like, you can't really put out the same type of comedies anymore. Like, comedies are almost dead. Like it's movies, it's, yeah. It's yeah. really hard to produce a comedy movie. Like, mm -hmm. there's so Comedy's much taboo. Never really yeah, they've never really pushed good comedy, you know well, what I mean? Well, now with, like, the cancel stuff, too, like, L.A., they are so strict with stuff, Doing too. everything is yeah, that way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the last good, like, epic comedy, when was the last, like, I mean, Step Brothers, probably? That's what everyone like, said. It was, like, Step like Brothers. Like, old school era. Like, that was kind of the last era of, like... Yeah. Because even I, I watched old school. That was pretty. That You couldn't do that nowadays. Either. No way. Oh, yeah, Step funny. Brothers, old school. There's a lot. Uh, Wedding Crashers. That was a good one. Wedding Crashers. That's like my all time favorite, dude. What's your favorite uh, Christmas movie? Violent Night, dude. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Violent Night is up there now. That's gonna. I'm watching that every year from now on. <laughs> um, so my favorite all time, probably Christmas Vacation, and then seen Elf. Elf's my favorite, yeah. I like my two. And then the back, the other like really close ones are um, Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Oh, great movie, great movie. Bad Santa? The, the first one, the first one. Second one's me. Bad Same with Santa. Home Alone. Home, I do. We just watched Home Alone the other night. Yeah, but the Home Alone, Alone 2 sucks. I watched the first. I just watched the second one last night, actually. It was all right. Is yeah. Trump in Home Alone? He's in Home Alone too. Yeah. <laughs> when, he che when he checks in the hotel, he yeah. asks him. <laughs> That's funny. But those are good ones. Those yeah. are good ones. Yeah, Home Alone one is classic. 
Christmas vacation, though, dude. That's like my. That's my number one. That's when I save, kind of for last, you know. What's your favorite, Fez? Yeah. I would have to say Elf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Elf's a classic. It's so good, dude. It's a classic. Also, also a Crazy Christmas, how old also a Christmas story now. with the Red Rider shoot your eye out. Uh, see, story. I'm not a Christmas story guy, dude. A lot of people love that movie. I got. Sorry, I, don't know if it's I think that I ruined that movie. There was one when I was younger. I was Christmas Eve and I stayed up and it, was, it used to play 24 hours on Christmas <laughs> Eve. And I watched it trying to go to sleep on Christmas Eve and I couldn't go to sleep. You know, I was a little kid. And I just watched it like three times in a row and I just can't watch it again. Because yeah. <laughs> I never was really that hyped on it. And then after that, I was like, all right, I can't watch this movie. I feel you like go, you can go to that house in, it's in Ohio, I think. I feel like I feel like uh, Elf is a movie though you just can't get sick of. There's too many good lines. You can't. There's too Elf, Elf is a Christmas movie I can watch in freaking middle of June, middle of July. Uh, yes, Christmas in July. Watch. Most other movies I can't do that. No, Elf is just clap. Dude, Will Ferrell back in the day, <laughs> amazing. So Will Ferrell at his in his prime, his prime. dude. The the. Uh, I'm a cotton headed ninny mugging. Yeah, cotton headed ninny mugging. Another good good one is uh, Snow Day. You ever seen this movie? Yeah, I think. I, don't they have like it's, a snow? Uh, there's a big snowball fight in a scene. Well, there's there's kids and they get a snow day, and then their goal is to stop the plow. The guy who runs. The yeah, plow, they're trying to stop him from uh, plowing the street so they can get another snow day. Isn't yeah. it like a really rich family? What's the one where the kids live? In, there's the kid lives in like the mansion, and his parents are really weird. Home Alone? No, no. Um, I can't remember now. There's so many I ones. Don't know. Kid, rich mansion. Was that Bad Santa? Maybe, because I don't know Bad Santa that well. Okay, I've seen it, but I don't remember it much. Who's that? Uh, what's his name? Billy Bob Thornton? I think so, yeah. Here's a good question. Yeah. Are there any... Ernest, Ernest. Are there any traditions... Save, Ernest Saves Christmas. That's another underrated. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you're good. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> are, there, are there any, like, traditions when you were cited that you don't care about anymore for Christmas? No, I still do everything. I still do it all. Decorating Slang, the tree. Slang, decorating the tree. You go to oh, a lighting? No, we never went to lighting. Just light our own tree. Do they have one by you? There's one downtown. They did it. Someone got shot. What the? F this year? Yeah, everyone always, someone always gets shot. <laughs> what? Whether it be the fireworks or Christmas lighting. Oh, shit going down. Oh, dude. my gosh, dude. So I don't, I stay away. Yeah, downtown that day is crazy. That's hectic down there. Be a but I do go downtown there. They have like an ice rink in the middle of a uh, ice downtown. skating. Oh, I gotta do that. Do that. Yeah, hey, I always go ice skating. And try to make it, build an igloo every year as long as we have enough snow. What yeah, we do? We gotta build. Um, one. what else are the big ones? Well, when we were kids, we used to watch the original. Um, how the Grinch stole Christmas. Oh, okay, yeah. That was when we used to watch like every Christmas Eve with like the family, you know? And then that eventually turned into Elf. So now Elf during Christmas Day is just playing on repeat pretty much. Isn't it crazy how much like slower movies kind of used to be? You think mm -hmm. about that? Like, that's, why, so... that's why Christmas Story is, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. It's just so slow to me to like <laughs> watch. It, it has like this old timey feel to it that I don't enjoy. Yeah, I, I kind of get that from Home Alone too. Do you? Yeah. yeah. It's like, all it's right, good. Though. All right, you, Joe Home Pesci. Alone is once you start watching, it's like it's it's pretty good. Yeah, I love the the Keister line, the Keister scene. Like you got Ke your yellow Keister. Uh, oh you got yeah, yeah, ten yeah. seconds. I'm give you a yeah. count of ten to get you no good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, fuck. But those are what about what are your class? What's your uh tra do you have traditions you don't do? <laughs> it's actually this is funny. Um no, no tradition uh, cause 
No. No, really. We never, yeah. we always opened our presents on Christmas Eve, and I never have anything on Christmas. Do you? I think I might have yeah. told this story on here. One year, I was such a little snot nose shit, dude. Like, I'm like, I got like sick, like awesome presents for Christmas, right? Was this the kid. year you did the hundred? Probably. Was it, was yeah. it 100 I, I think it was 160. Us? No, <laughs> I remember seeing 240. And 240. I remember. I oh remember it was God. before like using Zoom or before using like Zoom text or Jaws. Yeah, that's what you said. It was like dude, like size 12, 12 uh, like 20, whatever. Or 20, yeah. Yeah, it was huge. It was like six pages, eight pages long. And <laughs> never, I don't think it ever made it to the North Pole. My my parents were like bad with that shit. Like they never took my letters. Like they never. But the one year I was, uh, I had all these presents and I must open a couple a Christmas Eve, and then, <laughs> and then Christmas Day, Santa came, and I'm opening my presents, and I finished opening my presents before the rest of my family, right? So like they're still opening presents, and I'm like, what the hell? There's like no more presents for me. Like such a little shit, dude. Like looking under the tree, like is this for Dang. me? Is this for me? Like this big box, and my mom got so fed up with it, she went and wrapped up a present for me. And I fucking opened up a grapefruit. <laughs> she wrapped, she yeah. wrapped up a grapefruit for me on fucking Christmas. Jeez, that's what we, that's what we, our grandparents used to get, dude. An apple. An apple. Some fruit. Big, one, dude. One during year the, during the Great Depression, man, be happy to get an apple. I think one year someone got coal in my family. Oh. It was bad. I used. To, I think I told the story, but I used to. Uh, my stepdad's parents lived by these railroad tracks, and we found a hunk of coal. And I wanted them, I wanted them to give him the coal so bad, because I thought it would be hilarious. Cause it was a real piece of coal, you know. She never did it. I don't think she's too nice. Uh, a real piece of coal. Yeah, I found like a you know on the side of the Chunk, track. Sometimes yeah. you'd be like find like a hunk of coal that had fallen up. Ever do the penny trick on the tracks? Oh yeah, I've done that. Quite a bit. You hear it like That's a fun it starts one. vibrating. I'm wanting to put a skateboard truck on there, see if that'll get smashed. Whoa. Yeah, I don't want to I'd imagine it would, though. dude. I, <laughs> I had a really traumatic experience with a train. I don't even think I should say it, but it was bad. We almost got taken out, dude? No, dude, I, I will say it. I've, trigger warning or whatever. Just, But I was probably 10 years old, and I was when I went to school in Philly, and I would do the commute back and forth every day. Mm-hmm. And we're coming home from school. My house is about three blocks from the train tracks. So we just get over the train tracks, about to get home. And then the tracks go down. And this really old lady was in her car. And she tried getting around the thing. Shut got up. Got stuck in between and smashed like a pancake. And I heard it all happen. What? Yeah. It was bad, dude. We went back. The car was like literally a pancake. Like no way. It, and there was there was glass everywhere. It was really bad. Why are you trying to go around the thing? She was so old. I think she they got they went down when she was in the middle and she was like too slow to maneuver. Whoa, yeah. dude. That's Damn, heavy, dude. really heavy. By a train. Really heavy, dude. Hopefully that's a quick way to go. I don't know. Jeez. Yeah, it was bad. There was an epidemic here where there was like a huge dis- depression drug epidemic here where kids were just jumping in front of them. Jumping in front right. of trains. Yeah. yeah. Everybody was a teacher and a kid did that in his class. Like, what? I had a buddy that... That's so gnarly. I had a buddy that his... Our... He was like an acquaintance of mine, like, uh, you mm-hmm. know, like in the, he would be around the same groups and mm-hmm. he was like 15 years old, dude. The kid was already addicted to like, uh, really bad drugs, like Oxycontin mm-hmm. and he just had no guidance. And like my, my friend who was like best friends with him, literally the kid told him he was doing it and the kid tried to run to him and stop him and watched it like happen. <sighs> episode took a twist yeah. from uh, Christmas to uh, death. suicide. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. 
<laughs> I told you it was dark, dude. Oh, no. oh. Trains are, they're scary, dude. dude. There ain't no stopping a train, <laughs> They are really scary. <laughs> I, that's, why uh, I think I could, that's why I think I can put a skateboard truck on there at... Uh, it would. Elegant. That's what. That's the moral of my story <laughs> here, is that your your truck will definitely flatten. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I was more worried about like fucking the train up, but it can smash a car. So I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah, the truck cool. would just like. I don't know if it would flatten. I feel like it would. I don't know. Oh, what it would do? I feel like it might just like shatter almost. You know what I mean? Break in half because trucks do that. Yeah. Right, like more break as opposed to flatten like a penny would. But. I think it would get like, uh, like, like when you crush a can, like it might smush like that, you know, like it gets all yeah. like, yeah, yeah, interesting. But you can't do that though. It's highly probably illegal. highly illegal. Yes. Oh. I told the story where I, we we moved the track. Yeah, I told that. Right? What? We moved, like, it was like a little train, like, that would be at, like, a zoo. No, we you did at, not tell this story. We, I think I did. No, you didn't. We were at, like, a, like a, uh, an RV. I went with my buddy's parents. And, like, you, everyone parks their RV, so it's, like, a campground. Right. But, like, there's, like, this little train that went around. You know what I mean? They had, like, gold carts there. Uh, uh-huh. That kind of stuff. <clears throat> and the track... We we were just messing around. There's like this little wooded part that opens up to the tracks too. So we're just messing around in the woods, and we see the track. You can move the uh, like because all from to go like left or right at this point in the track, all it is is like a spring loaded um, part of the track that would move left or right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That would just guide the wheels in one way or the other way. Right. And we took a bunch of like just the gravel stones that were on the ground hand moved the track, like opened it up. So it would go the other way and just jammed a bunch of rocks in there. So then we run back in the woods and when the train comes, it starts going the wrong way. Oh my God. Like, it, it like starts going halfway and it just stops. And we're like, Oh shoot dude. And they just hear the guy on the radio like, Oh, it's, oh it's some the tracks messed up or something. something. And we we just got some off. derelicts. <laughs> That's how old were you? I'm pretty sure we were, we were like, I don't know, middle school. Dude, you know, that like is devious. End of elementary, that, going to middle school. That is a deviant act. And I think when we got back, like his parents were like, so I heard somebody uh, move the tracks or something on the, on the <laughs> train or something. Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I Dude, totally knew it was us. When you're a kid, you just get these urges to do the dumbest shit. Like... That stuff I love. Dude. I, Little mischievous stuff like that. I am. I love it. I loved like a rush. You know, like getting that yeah. rush from yeah. like ba- doing something bad. It's so bad. I remember. Um, in this is so dumb. I was like fourteen, eighth grade, and we're uh, get me and my friend had like detention or something, right? So we're leaving school late. It's like four o'clock, and we're going down. There's like a a stairwell. That leads to the outside And the door is one of those It has one of those glass Really thick uh, Rectangular uh, Like small rectangle glass That's like You could look through And it's like Almost bulletproof And there's like uh, Yeah 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 There's like wiring in it and shit I for (laughs) some reason We're so amped up Leaving detention Like jumping down Flights of stairs and stuff when we get to the bottom, I just run up and fucking, like, kick this window. Oh, my God. And it, sh- it didn't break, but it shattered. Yeah, those glass I remember we just pieces. left, dude. We just ran. And it was like a rush. I was like, ah. Speaking of Home Alone, me and my brothers used to call ourselves the Wet Bandits, dude. Because <laughs> during my brother's hockey games, we used to go in the bathrooms. And then going in each stall, lock the door and then crawl under. So oh all the stalls were locked and then take wads of toilet paper. You get them wet and you just throw them at the ceiling. They stick. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, my what God. What else do we do? Every funeral we went to, we would find the thermostat and just turn the heat all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> when, dude, when I went to St. Lucie's, the school for the blind... I was probably in fifth grade, fourth, fifth grade. My my best friend in school, Joey Winscombe. Um, 
<laughs> we used to have like Fight Club in the bathroom. There were these huge bathrooms with like the urinals lined up and shit, so you had all this space, you know? Dude, we used to get in these fucking fights, like punching each other and shit, like going crazy and come out of the bathroom like sweating red in the face, oh like all beat God, up. We got in tr- one time they heard us and like the, the teachers came in, they're like, What is going on in here? <laughs> you guys were violent, dude. Violent, violent. violent. We were very influenced by WWE. <laughs> okay, yeah. Very influenced. We used to watch Monday Night Raw and then come back and like reenact it. Shattering the glass is funny. Oh, oh shattering glass, dude! One time, That's just mean. <laughs> this, this, I don't know how I did this. I've, you know, when you get rage and you're just like have extra Hulk strength. <laughs> I guess I yeah. got in a fight with this kid, like an argument with this kid on my wrestling team in high school when I was like a uh, freshman sophomore. So I had a lot of pent up like rage, and like I started getting a little better junior senior year. But I was a hothead, and this kid was just talking <laughs> shit to me on my team. And he was, like, not the best kid, like, at the time. Like, he was doing some wrong things and stuff. And I was, like, the captain, so, like, I, you know, whatever. So I'm I'm arguing with this kid. He's being a little shit. All of a sudden, he starts talking all this shit about, like, being blind and all this stuff. And I, I just, like, got blacked out. And, dude, he's standing in front of one of those doors. I reach back. And punched as hard as I could, and he moved just in time, and I shattered the the window. <laughs> at this, Did you at slice this, slice your hand open. No, I was so lucky; nothing happened to my hand. It was at an Jeez. away match, a wrestling match at this school, so I had to like do this whole report and like pay oh for the window God. and stuff, dude. It was bad. I learned my lesson. Did he stop talking to you? Did he stop yeah, he, you? he left. <laughs> he was he was like, whoa, yeah. That I, did, was, I did a very similar thing. I some kid was kept chip chipping away at me, dude, chirping yeah. at me, chirping, chirping, and I, it was like during lunch, and I <laughs> saw him in the hallway, and I pushed him against the wall, and I swung at him, and he ducked, and I missed, <laughs> and then he just like took off. <laughs> hey, you're standing there like an then, idiot. But then he, well, then he never talked shit again. You know what I mean? After that, exactly. They know. No, not too. funny, but I missed him, man. I, I know him. you're like, dude. If that connected, I would have went to jail. Like he probably would have been out been cold. Bad. Yeah, because yeah. to that type of force to go through one of those thick window things is serious. Yeah. The all the glass at like that at school is just like shatters and like these tiny. It's like a windshield. You know what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't like break or crack. It just like I was so shatters. lucky. If it cut so my weird. hand, I could have serious damage. <laughs> oh man that was mm-hmm. This episode is brought to you by Clusive Clusive C-L-U-S-I-V dot I-O What is Clusive? Clusive is, <laughs> is the first online learning platform Designed by and for The vision impaired and blind That's amazing Anthony don't they have a new app too? They just launched their new app Dan can you tell us about it? I don't know much about it, honestly. (laughs) Well, you know how you can find out about it. You go to the App Store and download Clusive. Yes, C L U S I V dot I O and backslash student too, if you want to if you want to really get in depth with it. But what's great about Clusive, Dan, is no more do you have to be a helpless blind person sitting at home wishing you could get a job. That's right, and don't just get any job. Get a high paying job that pays 1.8 times more than your average blind person. Oh my gosh, it's almost double. It's an easy increase, Sally, and you can work from home. Wait, so we're not getting paid $3 an hour? Nope, you're not working at the broom factory anymore. <laughs> the Levi factory? You can work in your Christmas pajamas and buy all kinds of great gifts. Just get a tuxedo t shirt. Read that Christmas joy. And they give training um, for online interviews because 86% of interviews nowadays are done virtually. Whoa, that's Inclusive almost 100. Inclusive is the only one providing training for this for the visually impaired. Not only, company. not only that, Dan, are they training individuals how to get the right tools like Excel and these spreadsheets, all these things that are hard to navigate online, accessible. Everything you need. But they're also working with the companies that are hiring the blind and visually impaired individuals to work with them on how to make the workspace right, how to talk to them, how to make it safe and just 
to train the staff as well. So everyone's onboarding process is flawless and They're incredible. Really making it inclusive, dude. <laughs> Truly inclusive. Uh, they're a one-of-a-kind company. They're great. They're amazing. Ask your local counselor. If you don't have them in your uh, area, it will be there soon. Ask them. Get it in there. And, uh, yes, thank you, Clusive. Yeah, Clusive.io. C-L-U-S-I-V dot I-O. Yo, let's get back to it. Ho, ho, ho. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. What's on your Christmas list this year, dude? Um, this is kind of turning into the Christmas episode. A little, little premature, but I'm in. I'm uh, feeling uh, the spirit. That's because you went to violent night. <laughs> I know. I, I uh, up, dude. Hyped what do up. I want? I I asked for some. <laughs> I asked my mother in law for liquid IV. Oh, nice. And get, on get it. Get that at Costco, dude. Get a big old pack. And some on it. Um, uh, you want some on it? You want yeah, to try it out? I do. Wait, I want, on it, the the supplement the, brand. Yeah, so you're looking for the, um, what's it called? Not the Alpha Brain. Not the Alpha Brain? No, oh, I but I do want to try that because I think it's it's interesting. Um, Justin especially uses with, ones he said for it helps with his sleep and stuff too. I could use that drinks. too. I Because when I'm fighting and stuff, you, there's so much stuff you know going on with your brain. A lot of stress. And then when you get hit, like if you take a fall, you could rattle your head a little and the on it, the alpha brain really is for the brain health, so I think that could be good. But gotcha. also they have uh, Jason Ellis was telling me their hydration powder is pretty good. Ah, uh, hydration so, powder. Because I've been training, I have this turn. I'm leaving for Canada tomorrow. Pan Ams, yeah, dude. We're next, actually next. well, no. Uh, while you're listening to this, I'll be fighting. Yes, and next episode we're gonna hear the uh, the results. The results. I can't yes. wait, dude. So I'm kill it, dude. I'm you're really in <laughs> you're in warrior mode right now. I dude. really am, dude. I've I've turned it up a notch. I uh, let's see. I've been training really hard past like over a little over a month, probably like extremely hard, and mm. then doing all the extra stuff. Started bringing my dad to judo, which is awesome. My dad started really? coming. Yeah, he started coming to support me, and he's just started putting a gi on and moving around to like get in shape. And it, oh, there it's, we go. it's really awesome. And he started going to the gym with me like t- two, three times a week and running. You gotta, throw po- you gotta throw pops around. Let him know you're in. You're the alpha now. <laughs> yeah, no pops isn't there to be thrown. <laughs> I'm glad, dude. I've I've been. I'm. It's a really awesome to, especially that bonding, like. You know, going yeah, there, cool. the the driving and stuff together, and then going to the gym. We're doing thirty minute runs together. Pops runs a couple miles, and then we go to sauna and stuff, and it's great. And it's been is helping. He a co- is he running a couple miles? Yeah, he runs about two and a half, three miles in thirty minutes on the elliptical. Oh, he's doing good. And he he's got that wrestler mentality, so he's like, yeah, when I see like. I'm not burning. Up, I'm not gonna burn enough calories. I kick it up a notch. And like <laughs> he's like when I see 30 seconds left in the minute, I just sprint it out. Like he's so he's funny, dude. It. Yeah. He's he's great. And me and pops always have had that like really good bond, you know. So like we're yeah. like I've been. I was the only one that could get him to quit smoking cigarettes. Like I'm the I'm the voice to my dad of like I'll nag the shit out of him till like he better's mm-hmm. his health and stuff. Mm-hmm. And he's the man. He's you know, but so I started going to judo with him, training, and uh, been training really hard. No injuries, which I'm really happy about. That's a really big yeah, win for me healthy. going into this. Yeah, weight is pretty good. I um I started doing CrossFit again last week, and dude, oh, CrossFit, dude, I did this workout on Monday that almost broke me. Like I because I haven't done this stuff in a while. So like getting my body back into these movements and on stop like repetitions. Yeah. It was called a what's it called? Tabata? Tabata yeah, Tabata style workout. So it's twenty seconds on, ten seconds off, eight rounds. Mm. But it's four different exercises, but you do one exercise at once, twenty seconds on, ten off, eight rounds, and then go to the next one. So it was like, like shul- straight through eight rounds. Yes, like straight, through? straight through, and eight eight rounds. Eight rounds, and dude, like I started with shoulder press. By round five, I could barely lift the weights over my head anymore. What is that? That's like two minutes it, twenty seconds. I think of- it's about four minutes. Yeah. So, uh, because thirty seconds, eight times, you got to think. Yeah, yeah four, four minutes, minutes. Four minutes. Yep. And then, I was thinking like how much time you're actually. Yeah, that's a lot of straight up. Yeah. So nonstop, and you got it. 
you, you know, you start getting 20 reps in the first 20 seconds, then it goes down to like 15 and then 12. You try to stay above 10. And so I did shoulder press and then these uh, jump lunges, which was brutal, dude. My my legs <laughs> and like my quads and butt, it's just all bad. Dang. And then I did uh, these road. I'm laying on the ground and there's rings above me. And I grab the rings, and you have to. It's like a reverse pull up or push up. So it's like uh, rows on your back. <laughs> and I do those, which those broke. I, after I finished those, I couldn't straighten my arms and I couldn't breathe. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God. Like, <laughs> it was, they got me. And then I had to do deadlifts with uh, kettlebells and then finished off with like 100 sit ups. And dude, I, I nice. left there feeling good the next day. And then I went to practice that night. The next day, then I could. Went to practice. Yeah, the next day I could not sh- straighten my arms. <laughs> I could not. Uh, I thought I was like sick because of how yeah, sore yeah, I was. You yeah, know what I mean yeah. when you feel it in there. Yeah. Oh, dude, my arms right now. So because of that, I've been so sore. And I have this tournament coming up. I went to a recovery place today, and you'll be Ooh. so proud of me, dude. Three minutes. <laughs> In the 40-degree cold plunge. The cold plunge, dude. You did it. I did. I set the timer, and I didn't bitch out. Did you sink your head under there at all? No, I didn't put the I had the neck in, though. Fully up. How I, was the 40-degree cold plunge? So they said that this is probably one of the coldest ones you'll go in because even if you do an ice bath, which could be like 34 degrees, it's not circulating, so you can get that, like... Like yeah, you, a you, heated you, spot, kind of your body. You do when you sit in that? Yeah, you're you're like when I ice an ankle. You know what I mean? A sprained ankle. If you keep your foot still, you get like a little warm. Exactly. Quarter inch on so like that blanket. Swir- you got to swirl your foot in, and it's just like, oh yeah. Yeah. So, so the ice baths are like actually yeah circulating the water. So, so it's, it's like a tub. Constant forty. It's like a big tub. Not not huge. It's like one person, obviously. Yeah. And then you go in, you sit down, let, like put your feet out all the way, and you got your back against the wall. And <laughs> oh man, dude, I. It, so they said, yeah. So th- because the water's circulating constantly, it feels freezing, dude. Mm-hmm. Like there's this guy that's been doing ice baths for years. He said this is the best one. And you, were, you, were you Wim Hoffen? You I was, dude. Technique? The guy that was there complimented me on my breathing yes i was yes. so proud i was yeah. i literally before i went to the cold punch i was thinking about going in in michigan i'm not yeah. even kidding that was my i was like i got this i got this and i was like oh <laughs> nice <dude>. breathing <laughs> dude it was and then oh, so cool. i did like 20 minute sauna so first i did 20 minute uh, massage chair 20 minute sauna Three minute cold plunge, ten minute sauna. It was really good. Did and you, and you did you notice a big difference after doing that? You, dude, talk about the biggest shot of antidepressant I've ever received in my life. Yeah, that um, cold water, dude. I, immediately when I when I was in there, my body started getting shocked, like very shocked, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah and I yeah. started feeling my head pulsing, like my forehead was pulsing. Yeah. And, uh, and then when I got out. My body was fro like I was so numb and yeah. I, I was dizzy. Like I was I was dizzy from the adrenaline and they said it releases like something like six hundred times endorphins in your brain or something, or do- dopamine. Mm-hmm. And it, it uh lasts like two to six hours after. And I totally felt it, dude. Like it was a complete high like getting a marathon high without running a marathon. Yeah. And, yeah. and doing that like incorporating this into my life now, I think it's going to be such a big Damn, you got me. Well, I'm going to have to go on the lake tomorrow, dude. Damn, what this did for me, I'm dude. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, recommend this more to anyone, like to everyone. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it helps you think clearer. You have a better attitude leaving, and and you just like overcame that too, and your body just feels good. Like now that I'm six hours like after it, my body's starting to feel the pains again. Mm-hmm. Which is crazy because it literally numbed me for like that long. Like I didn't, wow. I felt yeah. great. I could straighten my arms. It was, it was incredible. And I, uh, 
I never learned about recovery, like active recovery until now. So it's, right. it's a real, I, I feel like I'm going into this next like run of the Olympic trials and everything. I yeah, think this is a big step up that. for me. Yeah. And yeah. I also learned about like, uh, Kelly was looking up all this stuff about refeeding after you weigh in from the weight cut. Uh-huh. I've been doing it wrong my whole life. I've, I've wondered cause I've, get injured pretty easily in tournaments and it's because i cut a lot of weight and then that night i'll eat like protein i'll eat like a piece of grilled chicken some other stuff you know and i read watch these videos and stuff and it's that's the wrong thing to do because when you you don't want protein after you weigh in because your body it, it can't like break down fast enough your muscles need like to get hydrated again so what they mm. recommend is like a lot of carbs, a lot of sugar, a lot of uh, just water, sports drinks, juice, like coffee That's my cakes, kind of diet, freaking baby. like literally coffee cakes, pastries. It said go to Seven Eleven, get whatever the hell you want. Like it was great. Mm. And then it said like. If you wake up the next morning and you feel bloated, that's what you want because now your muscles have a layer around, like a mm. a protective mm. coating, like around them, and they're ready to work. So I'm like really uh, excited to try this new method because yeah. I have felt every the next morning when I'm going to fight, I feel sluggish, I feel tight, and mm-hmm. I I'm really thinking that's why because of everything I'm reading. Yeah. So it's interesting, like how much you learn. Later on, too. Dang, dude. I'm ready for Pan Ams, dude. Yeah, Warrior I'm, mode. I'm excited for post weigh-ins, dude. Like, uh, it's gonna be good. It's, it's like I went to the gym. I was in California with my son this past weekend. And we went in the gym, like, three days we were there. And I did, like, I mean, I haven't lifted weights in, like, six months. Like, any kind of workout. And I was thinking, I'm like you, dude, on the lower level. I my freaking can't straighten my arms or anything. I did like barely anything, dude. No, what, did, what, how sore were you the next I day? Like, all I did was like, like twenty pound dumbbells, like three reps of fifteen of like all your basic mm-hmm. bicep, bicep, tricep, and chest, like on a bench, and then like I did. Um, some upper back stuff, just like to pull the bar down, like right, the back. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's all I did, and then like, and I did like cardio the other days, but just that one day of that, I'm like, holy shit, I'm out of shape. I know that's how I felt. Muscles are just like got nothing, dude. They're not used to doing that, and then but you feel great, like the it couple days good. later. I just did a, I just did a kettlebell workout just now. I was like, I got to stay back on this, but especially if you were getting the cardio in and stuff, it's only gonna help, you know. Especially now, yeah. like. Getting older with, like, just even, like, in your 30s now with skateboarding, like, the injuries will be better if you're working out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just it's, need to get maintain some uh, muscle mass here. <laughs> that's I've so been getting good. skinny. I haven't been doing any workout stuff. I gotta stay on it. Yeah, when I, I get there, we'll do some, too. Yeah. I'm back in the, I'm back in the zone, dude. I feel really happy to be back into, like, a CrossFit gym. Mm-hmm. Shout out I've to never the, done any CrossFit stuff. Shout out to the CrossFit Speakeasy. Is that in Jersey? Yeah, it's in Belmont, and it's a, yeah. uh, it's like a big garage. Uh, do they have the rope? I want to do the ropes, dude. Yeah, they got the ropes. Wiggling the ropes, dude. Yeah, they got those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll do that, and sl- I love a good sled pull, dude. Good sled pull. Oh, I did last week. I had to do the sled pushing, pushing, pushing. the sled. Yeah. Oh. Dude, yeah, I like that. I, like I was that. going so hard too. He had to. He's like, dude, you can slow down a little. Yeah. <laughs> it's like no, I like, no, I got pan ams. You need to rest, dude. I know these next uh, few. It's I didn't go to. Days. I took off. Chill. I took off tonight from practice, and I'm yeah. just resting. Because you're gonna be doing days. some stuff when you're there too. You said right. Yeah, just like two light workouts, and I have to get classified again for my blindness. Uh, so, you do that every year. Every four. It's like, aren't you? There is no reversing your. It does. It's, it's because they changed criteria, and a oh, lot right, of people right. um, got classed out. Like every, most albinos are classed out now. They could see too well. Mm. A lot of different things. Um, but yeah, albinos. That sounds funny. I, does that so sound? It's called, it's it sounds up. wrong. It does. Albinos. It, yeah. It sounds messed up, but I guess the acuity on a lot of 
people with albinism is the, uh, they like for example one of the coaches is albino and he can get a driver's license yeah because it's more than just the light pigment and yeah they have light sensitivity is more the mm -hmm. generally the uh yeah, I was always jo yeah. Jolly Winscombe was albino. I was always jealous of how much he could see. <sighs> Son of a bitch. We got a last thing. Got to get the giveaway. Yeah, I was just going to pull that Big out, winner. Actually. Give me a second. Take your time. We got these, uh, these E1 timepiece. It's incredible conversation starter designed by Bradley. Um, we have the announcement of the second winner. Susan was the first. Susan. Did you send that out for her? Not yet. No, we'll we'll get those to. out. Yep. We're getting those out. Um, you were away. All right. The next winner. Drum roll, please. I can't do a drum roll. But. So first, thank you for taking my many questions in other episodes. Thank you for taking my many questions in other episodes. That was really So he's asking me, this is more towards Anthony. How is color? Um, you want to hear this, Anthony? Mm -hmm. okay. So, so do you is this Bastion? Yes. And he did say, he did say that, that we were saying it correctly. The one yes. Episode. Bastion. Bastion. So big, big shout out to him. You're the man. You won. You won. Congrats. So he he is asking. Um, Bastion is asking if how important is color to you nowadays? You know, do you still? Is it important to me when I used to sit at the TV with my nose to the screen? Did I have color sensitivity? And mm -hmm. now when people uh, use colors as a reference, does it change my opinion of something? Or mm -hmm. and does it affect how I think of it? And that is a great question. Color is a huge part of my life, especially when I was younger. I I talk I'll never say this too many times. I remember reading the colors of the crayons. Mm -hmm. Picking them out of the box, reading all the different colors and being able to match them with the color, right? Like mm -hmm. like the blues and the, the row like rose was even one I think and all these mm -hmm. different colors. And I used to do a lot more art too. And I wouldn't really base my art off of images. I'd base it off of colors. So I'd ask for colors. I'd be like, all right, can I have a blue? Can I have a, you know? Mm -hmm. And that was how I based my doing my picture, like art. And I would do more like emotion style or something like that, like abstract and stuff yeah. like that. And when You're I. You're an award winning artist. Yeah, I was an award winning artist. Thank you. <laughs> um. <laughs> And uh, now when when I watch TV, yes, back then I was able to make out some even images on the TV. And it was very, now that I think about it, dude, TVs were so fluorescent colors and freaking bright, vibrant stuff, especially on like uh, those cartoons and stuff. And nowadays with color, when people refer to something as a color, it definitely adds a lot for me. Um, mm -hmm. Like, like the even just knowing the sky is gray type of thing. Like it adds a whole mood. It adds like a, you know how they talk about like warm and, and cool colors. I kind mm -hmm. of feel that about the thing that they're referring to. Right. Like with the color. So yeah, you have enough prior knowledge to, to like walk in a room and Kelly can tell you, Oh, it's like bright yellow in here. Yeah. It's very vibrant. And yeah, yeah. And that adds a lot. Actually. I love knowing sometimes uh, not, but I, mostly I love knowing like what's around the color. You know, I'll ask like, oh, you know, even a shirt. Like, what color is this? Um, yeah, for sure. That's the most thing for me is getting dressed. I just like look for. I like basic, super mellow, plain, mm -hmm. boring stuff. But yeah, still definitely important. Same with like when I painted my the rooms in my house. You know what I mean? Like you painted them blind. <laughs> Heather did all the painting. But picking the colors out and stuff, you know, I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. You know what I mean? I definitely cared about what it what it looked like. Really? You know I mean? Yeah. That's interesting. I didn't think, I didn't take you as someone that would care, honestly. Yeah. A so, little bit. Somewhat. You know what I mean? Like you, I like, it, if right, like if like I get some shirts that are sent to me, Heather's like, that's like all crazy colors. Like, yeah, I don't enjoy wearing that kind of stuff. 
That makes sense, yeah. Um, if it's like super wild, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, color's like, a big big deal to me. It, to you too? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Not so much, but yeah, I do care about it. Yeah. <clears throat> there's certain things I won't wear because they're a certain color, you know what I mean? And there's certain shoe colors that I'm more prone to wear knowing right. that that's this color or something. There's like shoes like, ooh, I like that. Like, I feel more connected to that shoe knowing it's a certain color. Yes, yes. You know? Yeah, because even if uh, if you were to come out with a shoe, you would care about the color. <laughs> exactly. Hopefully one day. One day. One day. Um, what is the question he had for you? It's the same thing. Do I still do oh, I still okay. use color and stuff yeah. like that? That was a good question though, Bastion. Thank you. That was good. And yeah, thank you for send us your Elsa email out. Yeah, we'll email you and for your uh, address. Thank you for being such a supporter too. You've been here for a while. Yeah. And dude. uh I noticed Hell a lot yes. of a lot of more people have been subscribing. So thank you for that. We've gotten more downloads. Thank you guys. Keep telling everyone That's about sick. the pod. It really supports us. We're gonna grow this thing. And just everyone sending in their questions, people interacting with everything. People have been leaving more uh reviews. We have more reviews on the Apple podcast. Um Thank you. Yes. yes. Thank Keep you that so up, much. Eyes and ears. I saw Keep a comment that, that said, uh, I love listening to this podcast. Anthony is just so fine. So that made me feel good. It's so fine. So, so fine. Nice. Oh, nice. Shout out to that comment. I guess uh, I must uh, not be so fine. Hey, Dan, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Dan. But, yeah, yeah. keep it up. Keep growing it. Love um, you guys. I love the and support. Yeah, we're, we'll try our best to do um, more of the in-person ones because we know they're just better quality. Yep. Me and Anthony should be getting together soon here. So bear with us, and thank you for bearing with us while we do these uh, yeah. remote. Send in questions, Sickness. topics, keep it coming. <laughs> keep being those eyes and ears. And, uh, yeah, and you, will have a, you will have another chance to win an E1 watch. Did you say what E1, E1 watch was? Yeah, the tactile watch, both yep. for sighted and on yep. Bill for watch. everyone. Thank you, E1. We'll look out on the Instagram. We're going to be Instagram, doing another yeah, giveaway. Another another chance to win one of those for puppy dogs. Yeah, thank you to E1 for donating these to the eyes and ears. I have my E1 right here. Mine is right in the other room. Just a little shake, and all the little bear, ball bearings go right in place. Hootie hoo! You, can, you read the time, and it is just about 30 on the dot, baby. Your time is off. It's like 45. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. No, we're right, we're right about there. All right. Yours is off, man. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. eyes and ears. To email yeah. Dan at four bad eyes dot com or Anthony at Anthony at four bad eyes dot com. <laughs> Thank you so Anthony much. Bad eyes dot com. I'm Anthony Mancina. Keep pushing. One love. Keep pushing and one love from four bad eyes.